Howdy, y'all. It's Ryan. Barney Music, deep in the heart of Texas. There's my flag. Just kidding, it's not there. Uh, I'm in the front room again. This is the showroom. Welcome to another RNA video. Today I'm going to shoot a video that uh, I've been meaning to do for a few months now, but things have just been quite hectic and crazy, and I keep uh, not getting to it. If you see me glance over this way, it's because that's our door. This is probably why the lighting is nice. We've got a few comments on our FAQ about the lighting being really great. That's because there's a lot of natural light coming this way. But this is kind of a thank you video and uh, a check this out kind of video. I got something really nice in the mail a while back from one of our uh, longtime viewers of our channel, John. And uh, John sent me a very nice handwritten letter, which I thought was really awesome. You know, people don't really write letters that much anymore, so to take the time to handwrite something was really nice. Uh, so, a nice letter from John, and then some guitar picks from Howling Monkey. Howling Monkey guitar picks. So these are uh, made in Rochester, New York. We were talking about picks quite a while ago on the channel, and I think John asked about these. And uh, so it's a cool little bag here. Picks come wrapped up in this uh, nice little brown paper. Um, the thing with these Howling Monkey guitar picks, and, and I'm not a dealer for them. I don't think they sell through dealers. I think you have to buy direct from these guys in New York. Uh, you yeah, which is fine. Uh, a lot of a lot of companies are going just manufacturer direct now. But uh, anyways, regardless of that, these are guitar picks that are made from a nut. Believe it or not, that's grown in kind of Central South America. It's called a tagua. I believe I pronounced that right. Tagua nut. It's often referred to as vegetable ivory. Because once it hardens, you know, they harvest these, uh, this fruit and then they harvest the nut from it. And when it dries, it takes about four weeks to dry, it's extremely durable and hard and has uh, the very similar properties to ivory. But of course, instead of slaughtering animals to get your ivory, it's uh, like vegetable ivory. So here's one of the picks. Woo, it's got these cool little grooves in it. Now, Tagua is not this color, by the way. I think it dries and it looks like ivory. So I think, you know, the guys at Howling Monkeys have colored the picks. And so that that's kind of a standard one right there. But uh, John also sent some. You can have these personalized, right? Check it out. I like this. It's got what they call a pistol grip on the back there. But when you spin it around, what? Focus. I don't guess it's gonna focus. Get in there. <laughs> it says RNA music. So I got two RNA music picks. And one uh, like this, actually. So. Very, very interesting material. It's, it's very firm, it's not flexible. They say do not try to bend it because uh, you could snap it with enough, enough pressure. But uh, it supposedly gives a very clear tone, is what they say. Now you can go check out their website. Uh, I've played with them a little bit, actually, and I, I just unwrapped them so you could see what the unwrapping process would be like if you want some. What? My brother-in-law. Uh, my bro texted me. So um, it's pretty cool. It, it will wear down, they say, but it takes a very long time to wear down because it's a very, very hard material. Now these costs are around 15 bucks a piece, I think. Go check the pricing at Howling Monkey's Guitar, uh, Howling Monkey Guitar Picks, their website. 
So uh, pretty cool, they, they will personalize these things for you. I'm kind of digging this one actually. I like the holes in it. Uh, the response is, is pretty good. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to compare it to something for you guys to see what it might feel like. You know, playing, picking with it on a video, I don't know that you'll hear necessarily a, a, a tone difference on the attack through a video. But um, it's different than the acrylic picks. Oh, gosh. Sorry about that. I shouldn't have leaned over. I'm having back problems. <laughs> so I couldn't stand up straight. That is a problem. It does not... It's, it's not like the acrylic guitar picks, like V-Picks or, or any of the other acrylic uh, pick makers out there. It's not like the stone picks. It's, it, I would say it feels kind of similar to like the uh, Delrin or what, what's typically, we call it Tortex, but Tortex, you know, a lot of people make the same material, the uh, Delrin um, kind of picks, but slightly different. So. Pretty cool. Uh, the nice thing about these, they are, you know, renewable. Like it, it comes from a fruit, <laughs> and so no no trees are harvested to make these. They just harvest the fruit, and then they harvest the nut, and then you know, let it dry. And you can carve all kinds of things out of it. Taguao is used for all kinds of jewelry making. Uh, before plastics were created or reasonably created for an affordable price in America. I think about like 20% of all the buttons like on your clothing way way back was made from Tiguao nuts uh, so it's been around a long time a lot of the fake ivory out there or um, you'll see for carvings and stuff is, is made from this nut so pretty cool uh, thank you John for sending these that was incredibly incredibly generous to send these to me to test out um, I keep them in my special pick box with all my other swanky guitar picks so I don't lose them. I play with them every now and then. Um, I kind of go back and forth between the, uh, the signature <laughs> RNA, but I really I kind of dig in the feel of this one a lot actually. So give them, a, give them a shout, you know, check them out. They're on Facebook, they're on Instagram. They don't have a YouTube page or anything like that, but Howling Monkey Guitar Picks. Like the website Howling Monkey Picks. Dot com. Go check them out. Yeah. So there you go. Big thank you to John. Appreciate it so much. Uh, pretty incredible. Thank you very much for the handwritten letter. That actually meant quite a lot to us. I really appreciate that. So check them out. There's a lot of cool things out there going on right now with guitar picks. You know, we're friends with someone right here in Canton, Texas, who's doing some neat things with guitar picks that you'll see coming up soon. And uh, yeah. Good times, man. All right, keep the music alive. Don't forget it. So excited. Thanks, John.